arriving unannounced in the maelstrom, deep within the galactic east, at the end of the 41st millennium, the Carcharodon's foreboding presence sowed dread among the loyalist and secessionist factions in the early stages of the Badab War. At the forefront of this tenebrous chapter was Shade Lord Tiberos, known fearfully as the Red Wake, a commander whose very name whispered promises of death. The sudden appearance of the Carcharodon's fleet on the edge of the Golgothan wastes was as sudden as it was unsettling. Tiberos, a prodigious figure clad in a heavily modified suit of Terminator armor, led this mysterious chapter. His armor was a relic of ancient wars, adorned with the imagery of terrifying oceanic predators, reflecting the chapter's nomadic and ruthless nature. Despite initial suspicions from the loyalists, Tiberos extended an offer of cooperation, presenting the notices patent of his chapter, a declaration of their rights and titles, sanctioned by long-deceased High Lords of Terror and Inquisitors. His willingness to undergo psychic probing and gene sampling by the Inquisitor Legate's staff was a gesture that underscored his commitment to the Emperor's cause, albeit shrouded in his chapter's typical enigmatic conduct. Recognized by the Inquisitor Legate and reluctantly accepted by Lord Commander Carib Cullen of the Red Scorpions, the Carcaridans were a grim yet invaluable addition to the Loyalist forces. Cullen, despite his reservations about their strict adherence to the Codex Astartes, could not deny the effectiveness of Tiberos and his warriors. The space shark's long isolation in the deep void seemed to have only honed their lethality. The Carcharodons were initially deployed to the Endymion Cluster, rather than directly to the main theatres of the Badab Sector. This strategy proved crucial as they systematically annihilated planets known to harbor the Mantis warriors, forcing them to abandon their hit-and-run tactics and defend their worlds. This maneuver drew the Mantis warriors into a defensive posture where they were less effective, significantly aiding the Loyalist cause. During the war's final battle on Badab Primaris, the actions of the Carcharodons were decisive and brutal. Under Tiberius's command, they sabotaged the planet's ancient atomic and geothermal reactors. This sabotage led to a catastrophic tectonic upheaval, causing entire hive city sectors to collapse into molten chasms. The resulting chaos crippled the secessionist forces' defensive capabilities, leading to a swift and dramatic end to the conflict. Throughout the conflict, Tiberos's brutal combat prowess became legendary. Clad in his ancient battle plate and wielding the twin gauntlets, Hunger and Slake, he was a force of nature on the battlefield. These relic gauntlets combining the destructive force of power fists with razor-sharp talons and chain blades allowed Tiberius to carve through the secessionist forces with a ferocity that bordered on the supernatural. Leading the elite First Company's Terminator squad, the Red Brethren, Tiberos was the spearhead of the Carcharodon's assault. Each engagement was a spectacle of bloodshed, as he and his squad, equipped with lightning claws, tore into enemy ranks with unmatched savagery. The battlefields were left strewn with the mangled remains of those who dared oppose the will of the Emperor. Following the conclusion of the Badab War, Tiberius and the Carcharodons did not linger in the Maelstrom Zone. They returned briefly to the Endymion Cluster, where, with the tacit agreement of the Firehawks, they forcibly recruited from the Mantis Warriors' primary recruiting grounds to replenish their losses. This ruthless recruitment involved forcing potential neophytes to fight to the death to prove their worth, ensuring only the strongest to survive to join their ranks. Stories of the Carcharodon's onslaughts under Tiberius's command spread quickly. Allies and enemies alike spoke of a blood-splattered killing machine, a commander whose presence on the battlefield promised a swift and brutal conclusion. Operating from their battle barge, Nikor, Tiberius's tactics, though brutal, 
were effective, leaving a trail of destruction that cemented his dark fame within the annals of imperial history. During the same period, the Kosiran massacre highlighted the savage nature of the Karkaradans and their uncompromising approach to warfare. On Corsaira II, a detachment engaged in a ferocious battle with the Executioner's Chapter, another chapter known for their brutal combat prowess. The fight ended in mutual annihilation, leaving behind a gruesome scene of destruction and death, with no clear victor and no survivors to recount the brutal events. Finally, having paid in blood and fire, the Karkarodans departed the theater of war, their last known trajectory taking them through the warp and into the unknown reaches above the galactic plane, returning to the isolation of the outer void. The current whereabouts and operations of the Karkarodans, including Tiberos the Red Wake, remain unknown, adding to their dark and fearsome legend.